Hey guys, Simon Bryson here, welcome to my show. And today we're about to find out exactly how much people pay for rent based on their salary. Now the idea is, okay, the more money you usually make, the more expensive your lifestyle is versus sometimes the more, you know, the less money you actually make, usually the less expensive you can actually afford in lifestyle. But the idea is I wanna find out the people that make a lot of money, do they spend a lot more than rent or do they spend a lot less comparatively to people that just don't spend a lot of money because basically they don't have a lot of money. So let's find out in this video right here. And on top of that, if you're new here, I post it on the channel every single day. So make sure to also press the channel and hit the bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And on top of that, also destroy the like button. Now, without further ado, let's find out exactly what's going on comparatively to salaries and also rent. What percentage of your salary goes towards rent? Are you comfortable with that? I wanna find out, okay? Usually, it can't be like more than one third of your income. Uh, none right now because I'm living with my parents. Wow, so she is making $29,000. She's 26 years old. She's a clinical psychologist and she lives with her parents and basically saves a ton of money. Usually, I, I, and that's fine to me, you know, it doesn't really matter. But the point is, as long as you're living with the parents, just make sure you're saving the bulk of your money, a lot of it, investing a lot of it, or for example, saving up for a down payment. But a lot of people live with their parents and they still spend all their money on things they shouldn't spend their money on. Right now about 34%, but I'm really hoping to get that percentage down to 20 with my next promotion. Nice, so right now she's making $35,000. She's spending 34%, so that's like a third of her income, like a little bit higher. It's really like not that big of a deal. However, if you can get it lower, like making more money, the answer is that's great. But the main thing is just making sure that as soon as your income goes up, your expenses don't go up somewhere else. Because usually, if you make extra money, if you're not saving or investing, usually you might just replace all that extra money with a brand new expense, for example, a fancy car. And by the way, she's also 26 years old. I split the rent with my partner and it's more than 25% of my pay. Nice, so wow, oh wait, oh wow, okay. So she's a librarian? Okay, a librarian making $52,000 a year and she splits the rent, but it's still 25% of her pay. I think that's massively high. If we're going based on, you know, 33% of your rent, in reality, it should be close to around like 18% or like 15%. Like how expensive is this apartment right here? What happens if you guys split? Are you gonna cover that full, like 50% of your salary going towards rent? The answer is no. So I would probably like downsize and go somewhere else. But 25% of your pay, that's still pretty big, you know, because you still have to think about, right? You have transportation, you have food, expenses, bills. Come on, that's, that's a lot of money. I bring home about 3,000 a month and my rent is 1,000, but I have my own place. So I'm cool with that pricing. Wow, so $68,000 a year that's awesome that's around three thousand dollars after tax you know you know because you know taxes and everything else you have to pay taxes but she only spends a thousand dollars and again that's about one third of your income so again it's pretty good i hope she's spending a lot of the money and also investing so so far i'm seeing a pretty good idea here you know not so much money being spent except for the librarian but so far so good and yeah let's find out more 25 or 26% seems average. Oh, look at that. It's a very short answer. $75,000 spending 25% of her salary basically on rent. Actually, that's not that bad at all, right? But if you can lower it down, great. But again, like it's pretty average. It is true. It's pretty average. If it was more than one third, I'll be mad though. 25% seems average. Okay, 25% seems average. That's what that's the answer for everyone now, right? But the answer is, you know, guys, $115,000, okay? So if you make $115,000 times 0.25, that's around 28,000 divided by 12, that's around $2,400 every single month on rent. And the point is, guys, as you guys can tell, usually the percentage is around the same, 
but the salaries keep going up and up and up. I would hope, for example, right, that the more money you make, usually the less you actually spend on rent. But in this case, as you can tell right here, usually people that make more money tend to spend the same amount of rent based on percentages, but they're still spending a ton of money on rent. I would like to hear like, hey, I make 115. I spend 10% of that basically on rent or 15% of that, okay? But 25%, it's average, but I wish it wasn't. About 10%, I prefer to pay nothing, but I'm okay with it. There you go. That's exactly what I was asking for, okay? She's a VP at marketing and she, she spends 10% of her salary on rent, okay? By the way, 10% of that is 22,500 time, well, divided by 12, that's around like, you know, 1875. That is awesome, you know? That is awesome. That means she has around like 80 to 70% of her income just to put towards investing. To me, that is incredible. It's awesome, okay? I'm so happy about her. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Like 1%. I can't even complain. Wow, that is insane. 1% of her salary goes towards rent. But then again, remember, okay, she is making a ton of money, okay? A ton of money. $428,000 as an emergency room physician. I didn't even know that was a thing, you know? But the answer is that is a ton of money. Check it out, okay? $400 and $28,000 times 0 0.01, that is around, that is not true. Let's be honest, right? That's not true. I think this, she just exaggerated the whole thing, okay? The whole thing has been exaggerated, obviously. Well, it might just not be a year. It might just be per month, and that's why she might have said it. But the answer is, you spend like $4,000 a month on rent, that is still pretty high. It's still pretty high, but compared to her income, it's pretty low. And by the way, if she was being honest, which she's not in this case, Divided by 12, well, that's around $356, okay, a month. There is no way you can rent for that. But the idea is she's probably talking about monthly. That's a lot of money, and that's also a lot of money on rent. That's also a very high income. I would recommend if you watch this video, look into this career right here because I'm about to look into it also, okay? It's a pretty cool career. And by the way, she's only 37 years old. Very, very young. $1.3 million! 27 years old and she is an entertainer. The thing about usually like these incomes that these incomes tend to go up and down because basically when you're an entertainer, sometimes you do very well, sometimes you do very bad, you go back up, but then sometimes over time you're just like, you know, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like this, you know? But sometimes some people can be like this all the time, just going up and up and up. So the salary here, 1.3 million, she can't be spending that much money on rent. Let's find out. Luckily, my husband handles the mortgage. Oh. <laughs> that is insane. Her husband handles the mortgage, bro. And she makes $1.3 million. That is crazy. Well, most likely, you know, in this case, most likely, she probably covers a few bills around the house here and there. But to be living rent-free with your husband, I wish that was my case, okay? But, you know, I'm not into that. But the whole idea is 1.3 million, no money on rent. That is incredible. I hope, I hope, because sometimes entertainers spend a lot of money on nonsense. I hope you're spending all that money on investing, 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 investing. Hopefully. Oh, and that is the end of that video. But guys, overall, the whole point of this video is to show you that basically, you know, even though when people make a lot of money, usually the percentage stays the same and that's what I want you guys to avoid. So whatever your rent is right now and you start making more and more income as you actually start getting more and more skills, the answer is don't increase your rent, don't do that. Focus on investments, buying real estate, buying stocks, but just focus on basically collecting assets and that way all of your assets can eventually pay for all your liabilities, but don't just increase your liabilities, your rent, just because basically you had a little pay raise at your job or anything like that, just make sure to keep track of everything. And that's why I always, although I make so much money now, whatever, the idea is I still live like I was making 60 bucks every single week. And that way I can save a lot of money and also invest a ton of money. But guys, comment down below and let me know. I'm curious here, how much you actually spend on rent based on your salary and give me a percentage. So is it 20%, 10%? 0%, you live with your parents, or for example, even 
Comment down below. And even maybe like 75%. I've seen people that basically spend almost all their money on rent. Comment down below. Let me know. And as always, if you enjoyed this video right here, guys, well, like this video. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And on top of that, follow me on Instagram and Tiny Brayson. And on top of that, before I go, if you want to watch another video on how this NFL player spent a million dollars, here's a video right here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.